know, there's been a lot of situations that have come up in my life throughout my time being here. I've always said it's going to take a special, special situation to take me from this, just because of it being home and, and my passion for what I do here and, and for this organization and the great group that I work for. It, uh, you know, the San Diego Padres were able to do that. I'm, at, I'm going to be the new minor league infield coordinator for the San Diego Padres. It, uh, it, it's a situation that's been going on for about a month. It's been a long process, a grueling process. I know I'm sure you all hear that and think it was an easy decision. It definitely was not an easy decision. It was, it was awesome being at home managing the wing nuts for, for the seven years I was able to do it. Uh, being Playing college ball here in Wichita and having my family here in Valley Center. It was pretty neat with my girls being able to come every night to watch us play. and Quite the experience. Seven years I'll never forget. Uh, and when this opportunity came to be the volunteer with the softball team, both my girls are highly involved in softball. and It's kind of a no-brainer. I had worked with the Mustangs Academy with the older girls for quite a few years along the way the girls that were going to go to college. So it's always something that's intrigued me. I love the game of softball, the speed of it. And like I said, when, when Coach B called and we, we sat a meeting and talked about it, it was a no-brainer for me, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. And my intentions were to go back to, to manage the wing nuts the next year after spending the, the fall and the spring with the, with the softball team. And then the Padres came calling a little before Christmas two years ago now. This is my second year coming up with the Padres. And it was a situation with the coordinating position that I do. I'm able to, to go out on the road for about 12 to 15 days. Then I come home for five. Then I'll go out for 12 to 15, hit three or four affiliates along the way. And a situation that I've known the coordinating jobs are some of the best jobs in the game of baseball. And I'd always told my wife if one of those became available, we'd really have to consider it. And... I've really enjoyed it. it. I'm very blessed and humbled to have the opportunity that I do. The game of baseball has been so good to me and it continues to be so good to me with this position. There are only 30 of these positions, so I'm very fortunate to hold this position. And I get to work with all the infielders. So I get uh, our seven affiliates all the way from the Dominican to AAA, work with the big league club in spring training, and just get to work with all those infielders throughout the year and see them about three or four times throughout the season. I love managing. I love being in charge of the team, mm -hmm. running a team, and you know, you're know you the one that kind of dictates how it goes and the way you play the game, and that was fun for me. I, I took pride in the way I played the game, and I think that our Wichita Wingnut teams, when I was there throughout the seven years, played the game the right way, and I was the leader of that group and took a lot of pride in that. And I'll be thankful for the Wingnuts organization forever for giving me that opportunity not only managing, which I love to do, and I do miss managing with my new job. I'm not on the field. I'm in the dugout all the time. But I, I would say my favorite thing with the wing nuts was managing because I uh, love managing and, of course, being at home with my family. And then with Wichita State softball, as I've said before, I've always been intrigued with the game of softball with my girls playing. I got to put this uniform on across the street on the baseball side of things, and I felt this was a good way to give back to my alma mater too and to contribute any way I possibly could helping the girls out and I knew once I met Coach B it was going to be a great fit and great coaching staff here I really enjoy working with them I love working with the girls and now my current job I think it's pretty neat just being a coordinator being involved in the entire organization it's not like I'm managing the A ball club or even the triple A club I get to touch a lot of lives I get to touch We've got seven affiliates and there's six infielders on each one. So I get to touch quite a few lives and get to know these guys on a personal basis. And I enjoy that. I really enjoy having my limited group of infielders and, like I said, getting to know them and, and then getting to, to know me and learn about me and, and what makes me tick and what makes them tick. And I just take a lot of pride in what I do. And I'm thankful, as I've stated, and grateful for the opportunity that I have today to work with the Padres. The similarities, I would say, are just the game. Um, you know, there's a lot of things in the game of baseball and the game of softball that are very similar. I think that there's certain things you have to have in all of them. So that's the similarities, I would think. Um, also, the similarities are the staff that I get to work with. You know, I, I'm not the manager I was with the wingnuts without the staff that I had. 
And it, as I've stated, it's a wonderful staff that I enjoy working with here. And in professional baseball, it's a huge staff. I mean, I work with 40, 50 guys on, uh, throughout the affiliates. You know, you're looking at four or five staff members in, in each affiliate along with the major league staff. So 40, 50 guys that I'm closely connected with staff-wise. So that was the similarities. Differences, obviously managing is totally different than my position now of being a coordinator and my position of being volunteer assistant with the softball team. So the differences are managing, obviously I'm coaching third base, I'm running the show in charge of the group. Here I get to kind of take a little back seat and just observe a little more. She gives me the infielders pretty much on the defensive side of things and wants my help in, in other territories. And that's very similar to my gig with the Padres. I'm the infield coordinator, but they also know I managed for seven years, so they want me to help those younger managers kind of work throughout the system and become better managers. And I take a lot of pride in that and really enjoy that aspect of that as well. Um, I think everything that he's gone through and the levels that he's gone to, um, he understands what it takes to create like a great player. So he understands the time, the effort that we have to put into it and he's willing to um, work with us and do everything that he can to make us that type of player. Um, he also understands that everything's like with fundamentals. So he's been to the majors and he's coached at different levels and he's at softball now. Um, I think Hoop has been around the game his entire life. So he's been through it all and he obviously he knows what it takes to be the best. Um, baseball also isn't that much different than softball. So whatever he teaches his players, he can come and teach us. I think coaching wise, he just breaks everything down really small. So I mean, every time we do a lesson or we work together, he starts with glove work and he does a lot of footwork. Um, he also, I'm a very visual learner, so he breaks everything down and he can do it himself. So anytime I'm having a problem, or I don't really understand what he's trying to say, he can do it himself and I can kind of see exactly what he's wanting. Um, he also is just such a positive like vibe to be around. So anytime it's a bad day, like anytime he's around, it's a little bit better. Um, he understands that we're gonna have our bad days and so he just makes everything a little more positive and relaxes everyone and um, just lets us have like a really good time out on the field. Um, I love that Hoop is so personable and kind. And also when he teaches me something, and I'm sure he does it to everybody else. He literally gets in your face. Like he is right up next to you talking to you. So you know exactly what he's saying. And I love that he breaks down everything so simple because it helps like me understand. And I know it helps everyone else understand. And he also shows us like by example of what we need to be doing. And it makes it easier for everybody, I think. He brings um, every day to practice. He's always in a great mood, so he's not up and down, he's always positive, he's always having a good day, and so that just um, really affects all the other girls and it lets the whole team um, just be in a better mood, it relaxes us a little bit and allows us to enjoy the game a little bit more. Um, I think he really sets the bar high just with the expectations of giving everything. He understands you're not gonna be perfect, um, you're not gonna have your best day every day, um, but he's just gonna have you push yourself as hard as you can, give 100%, and if you're doing that, then that's all he's going to ask of you. Um, I think Hoop is a great coach because you can tell he truly cares about each and every one of his players that he coaches. Um, he sets the bar so high because his expectations, like he knows how good we are and how good we can be. So his ex expectations are high for us no matter what the situation is. He knows that we need to be doing our best. Um, I think he's different than all the other coaches I've had just because he truly cares about everyone. I think um, when he's around, everyone knows that he wants to be there all the time. He never is in a bad mood and he just truly cares about you and cares about you on the field and off the field. So I think he's just going to do anything for you um, no matter what happens. And I know that like he will always be there for me anytime I have a problem or I need some help. Okay, I think Coach Hoop is so different than any of the other coaches I've had because he is a very respectable person. And because of that, I truly believe what he has to say. And